Hey, this is Brandon with Pickleball Effects. Today we're taking a look at the new Power Series from Carbon. This is a new set of paddles from them. It's not meant to replace their original series, but just to give you more options from their brand. Their first paddles are very control oriented, so they introduced these, which are supposed to give you just a little more power, a little more offensive ability in comparison to their original series. So there's some similarities between how these are built uh, compared to the originals, and there's some differences. So when we're looking at the similarities, they have the same raw carbon fiber facing material that they became known for, and we know generates a lot of spin. And then they're using the same shapes. So this is the, the 1X and the 2X. The 1X has that elongated shape with an extra long handle at five and a half inches. And then the 2X is more of your standard, and a little shorter, a little wider, and then a shorter handle that's just under under five inches. So those are uh, what's the same. Difference-wise, they're introducing a new technology they're calling Unibody Tech. So what they did is they injected foam around the, the perimeter of the head and in the grip, and then they added a thin layer of carbon fiber that goes around the entire edge of the paddle that seals the top and bottom layers together, sort of like a, like a weld. This is the second brand I've played with that uses this technology. Uh, I'm a big fan of it. I'll talk about some of the what it does for the paddle in the play test, but that's the, the Carbon 1 and the Carbon 2X. For this review, I'll be playing with the 16 millimeters, even though they also offer 14 millimeters in both of these shapes. So let's go put these on the court and see how they play. After playing with the paddles for over two weeks, here are my thoughts on their performance. I'll first talk about what I liked, then what I didn't like, and then I'll share my thoughts of how the 1X compares to the Hyperion CFS 16, and then offer my recommendation at the end. So starting with what I liked, I think Carbon accomplished what they were trying to achieve. These paddles are noticeably more powerful than the original series and keep the identity of past Carbon paddles with big spin. Although you get more power in comparison to the original series, I would still categorize these as all court paddles and not power paddles, which I think is a good thing and will make them more appealing to a larger group of people. The extra power is combined with big spin. My spin tests were giving me between 1725 and 1750 RPMs, which is about 100 RPMs more than the original series. The extra spin was noticeable in some moments, like when I was attacking a short return and wanted to hit it hard, low, and short. But for the most part, I felt the extra spin didn't add to my game any more than the spin did from the original series. The paddles are very stable and solid. I've never felt so comfortable blocking drives and defending attacks. I really like that about these paddles. The extra pop and good stability also made them really strong when countering speed ups. I also want to mention their forgiveness. Both paddles played forgivingly. The Carbon 1X made a big improvement in forgiveness compared to the original Carbon 1, and the Carbon 2X kept its same high level of forgiveness and was even a little more forgiving than the original and the throw area of the paddle, which helped make them more player friendly and reduced overall errors. It's nice that Carbon offers these in a couple different shapes too. They offer the most options when it comes to shapes and thicknesses when compared to other brands that are using similar unibody tech. So here's what I didn't like. The extra boost in power does come at a sacrifice in feel. Both of these paddles have a stiffer feel that isn't as easy to connect with as the soft plush feel of their original series. I started playing with these after I finished my review of the 6.0 paddles, which use the same tech. So I had adjusted to the feel of these already and was controlling them quicker than I was the 6.0s but everyone I shared these with did not connect with them immediately like you would with the original series. Since I've spent about a month playing with these and the six zeros, I feel like I can control them just as well as any other control oriented paddle, but it took some time. If you're an intermediate to lower level player, then you may find yourself popping the ball up more with these than you would with a control focus paddle, even after you've adjusted to it. Talking about the weight, both of these fall into the mid-weight range, though the 1X does have a higher swing weight than the 2X. I wouldn't consider either of these fast paddles, but I didn't feel like they were too cumbersome either. The higher swing weight of the 1X may bother some people though, it's not a light paddle. The last thing I'll mention here is the price. I was not a fan of the price, they're very expensive at 230 I would have liked to have seen these come down a bit, though I do really like the way they play. Now I want to do a little comparison of the 1X to the Ben Johns Hyperion CFS 16. Players seem to be interested in how these two compare. They both cost about the same and they both fall into the all court category. Lots of players use and love the Hyperion CFS 16, but those that didn't pointed to the extra head heavy design and the durability of the handle as reasons they didn't like it. The 1X is better than the Hyperion CFS 16 in those areas. It's not as head heavy and it has a very durable handle that won't break on you. However, the Hyperion CFS 16 does have a more pleasant feel to it that makes it easier to control and take pace off the ball when you need to. I don't think that the 1X makes the Hyperion CFS 16 irrelevant. If you liked how the Hyperion CFS 16 played, but it was too heavy for you, then I think the 1X is a great route to go. But if you're looking for that all-court playability and need some extra help with your soft game, 
then the Hyperion CFS 16 is the way to go as long as you don't mind the extra weight. So here's my recommendation. If you're currently playing with a 16 millimeter raw carbon paddle without the unibody tech and are looking for something familiar but with a little more power, then I think the Carbon X 16 millimeter paddles are a good option. It has the ability to be controlled well, but will add some power to your game to finish points. Plus the extra spin potential doesn't hurt. If you're someone who needs more help with their soft game and often pops the ball up, then I'd recommend Carbon's original series over the X series. The original series has a softer feel and absorbs pace off the ball better. So that's everything I have for you. Thanks for watching and I hope it helped.